All right, it's a great day. You wanna know why? We're starting a new project. Yes, we are finally done with our Naperville project. It turned out awesome, love it, but I gotta tell you, I'm excited to see a new backyard. And this backyard has got a ton of potential. Flavio, who has been working for us, I'm guessing 20 years. Him and his wife, Kim, bought this house, I don't know, feels like maybe six, seven years ago, three, four years ago, somewhere in there. And they've been dreaming of this pond for a long time, been super patient, waiting for us to get out here, and we're about to change the way they use their backyard. We're out here, we're gonna get started on this thing. We've got a 22 by 16 foot pond, a little more than three feet deep, a wetland filter, a beach area for the kids, a big waterfall going in, and we're gonna get all of this done in a blink of an eye. Here we go. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The best way to learn anything is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. It's happening. Everybody, it's Brian with Team Aquascape. Man, what a week. We finished that awesome Camisa project out there in Naperville, Lyle. We had our pond tour, which is really what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Had the pond party, all kinds of other stuff. It was just such an awesome, awesome week. The pond tour, you guys, went so, so well. For those of you that don't know what a pond tour is, it's something we've been doing for over 30 years. In fact, it's how I actually discovered Aquascape. My parents went on a pond tour back in 1992, saw a couple ponds that Greg had built, and between between that pond tour and a Sun Times article, my family discovered Aquascape, which then led me to finding Greg and Greg then helping me fix my own personal pond that I built back when I was 13 years old. So yes, it's been a long, long time that those pond tours have been going on, but that's really why we do them. We do them for the same reason we did 30 years ago. It's the same reason we're doing them 30 years later. It's to inspire people and educate people, motivate people, encourage people to get out in the outdoors, encourage people to live that Aquascape lifestyle. And we do a lot of these vlogs and we have tons and tons of pictures we have tons of videos but videos and pictures only scratch the surface what the actual feeling is like when you're actually standing next to a properly built water feature so past customers of ours open up their backyards and let people walk around and just get inspired and we have all different types of water features we have pondless waterfalls we have ponds we have fountainscapes uh, long meandering bird loving streams crashing waterfalls wreck ponds ponds in small yards ponds in in big yards, ponds in uniquely shaped yards, something for everybody. I enjoy so doing them, not just because I like seeing our past customers and what their ponds look like over the last, how they've matured over the last two, five, 30 years, but also just inspiration for like, what kind of patio furniture are they using? What tree did they plant in full sun? What bush or ground cover do they plant in shade? Where are they getting their bird feeders? Where are they getting 3000 other things that get placed around a water feature, different types of yard art, so on and so on. It is truly inspirational. This year was the first time we did it in September and I think September might be something that we do for the rest of our lives here at Aquascape. The reason I really like the September Pond Tour because we were able to do a nighttime tour combined with it. We can't really pull off the nighttime tour or the nighttime showcase I guess it would be in June because it doesn't get dark until 9 30. So we have to wait till September. The weather cools down just enough that a bonfire is appropriate. The other reason I like it is kids are now back at school. Family vacations are kind of over kids are back at college, sports aren't quite as active. You don't have all your traveling leagues and so on and so on in September. So it's just a great time of year for the whole family to come out. And we had a hack of a turnout. In fact, we had people come from all over the place. There was a family that flew out specifically to come see my pond all the way from Denver, Colorado. We had people from Kansas. We had people from Michigan. We had people from Ohio. We had people from Indiana and Wisconsin. Yeah, really everywhere. So it was really cool that all 
all of you guys paid attention to the dates and the videos and some of you guys actually came out. For those of you who didn't, we're gonna take you on a little pond tour here in a second. And I really want you guys to try to pay attention to what it would be like to live in one of these backyards and how inspirational it can actually be if you were actually there touring the pond yourself. And then mark your calendar right now because odds are we're gonna do it third week of September next year. If you haven't ever been to Chicago or the Chicagoland area before, mark your calendars. Next year, we will be doing the pond tour in September again. But here's a quick little tour. Hope you enjoy some of these ponds. So as you can tell that our bio falls is set pretty high right now and that is because we are keeping it to scale with the project. Right now we have roughly a 20 by 16 pond that we are putting in. So 20 feet going this way and then 16 from where Dylan's sitting right now all the way to right where the machine's sitting just a little farther, a little past that. But as we were saying, we always want to keep the bio fall scale with the project. So normally we sink our bio falls down a good foot or two down into the ground. But with this project, we only scraped away the grass here and got it right down to the soil. So that way we can take our all the excess soil and spoils that we have from the pond and we can continue to burn out this entire backyard and you can tell that this backyard is pretty big so you're gonna see how well this bio falls look scaled down and it's gonna look pretty small and insignificant to the berm size once we're done berming all this up because this berm right now is gonna be where this bio falls is at all the way to where this tree is at where the wheelbarrows are sitting right now so we're gonna take all this dirt backfill all the way around it and make this pretty much like a rolling hill and a rolling landscape That berm is really starting to take shape. You see that bio falls? Looks like a little bitty bio falls right now. You can see earlier in the video how big it was and now how sunken it feels with all the dirt that we have taken out of the pond. So we're carving out the pond. We have our depth right off the deck to our two foot depth all in here. And then we're gonna finish carving out that little cove area there, clean this bottom up, and then we're gonna go down to our final depth to this bottom section down in here.
I'm taking a little break. I've got a consultation a little later today. So I think why I take a break, you guys should take a break. And let's go check out Kareen over at the retail store. I heard she's got some exciting stuff happening over there. We'll be right back. Hey guys, it's Kareen at Aquascape Pawn Shop. I am so excited to tell you that I'm going to be bringing in fall plants this year. I found a company that's really close by. It's in Montgomery, Illinois called Schaefer's and they do fall plants. So excited because fall plants look beautiful around your pond. So come with me. I'm going to start ordering these fun supplies here. The whole list here. I'm going to be working on it. So we got our flowers in, our plants, our fall mums, our fall kale and cabbage. I'm so excited to show you these. Some of these are so gorgeous. Look at this. Beautiful cabbage. It's gonna look awesome around your ponds. We have asters. Asters are so gorgeous. Look at this color. You don't really see this color as mums, but these are a beautiful aster. They kind of are like mums, but they look different. And one of my favorites are these peppers. They are so cool. They're ornamental peppers. They are so cool. They're gorgeous, guys. Look at this. I mean, how awesome is that? I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited to have you guys come and see this. This is gonna be a great fall for us. I look forward to seeing everybody. So come check out our brand new line of fall plants that we have. They range from $6.99 up to $49.99. We have a beautiful selection, so please come by. We also have some pumpkins for only $7.99. We'll see you soon here at Uncle State Pond Shop in San Charles, Illinois. just about to start digging our wetland right here. It's gonna be 15 small aqua blocks. So we first carved out down to our first shelf. So right now this step here is gonna be our finished grade with grab once we get the wetland in. So Brian's taking the first scoops out. We went down 12 inches from water line so that way they can put two chairs in here and fish can come in here and swim around their feet because they love, love, love that idea. So right now we laid it out. You can see the orange spray paint is our square that we're gonna be using for our wetland. So like I said earlier, 15 small aqua blocks. Flavio's doing what we do best, building another water feature. And this isn't just any ordinary water feature. Flavio has been working for the company, for, I want to say 20 some years. This is something him and his wife have been dreaming of having for a long, long time. And now it's actually coming to reality. It is approximately a 18 by 26 foot pond, about three and a half feet deep. There's going to be a little beach area on it. There's going to be a cantilever deck over it. There's a wetland, there's a big waterfall, there's jets, there's all kinds of stuff. So this week we're going to finish building 
building this thing, right? And here is kind of this beach area where she wants to put a couple like Anirondack chairs just kind of sitting in uh, some gravel, encouraging fish to swim up around you. Over here is our skimmer slash intake bay area. Right in there, there's gonna be a second level to this deck and it's gonna cantilever out over this part of the pond. So some stairs coming down over there to a deck that brings you out over the pond. Wetland filter back there where Chris, David, and Tyler are, and then big waterfalls over in here. So you guys stay tuned for next week where this thing will be completely finished. Hoping to get this big bad boy pond done in the next four to five days here. A couple days of weather ahead of us, but we'll see if we can't stay optimistic and get this thing done. Hey, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. Hope you enjoyed that pond tour and we'll see you next week here at Flavio's house when this thing's all wrapped up. Thank you.